Hey YouTube, Aaron with Vacant Land Guys here. Just doing another quick video here for you. Got a property back on the market. Uh, didn't work out for this buyer. We swapped them out for another property. Uh, so this one's back on the market. Um, it is 20 acres uh, near Concho, Arizona. Let's take a look at it here. This is an image I pulled off the web. Um, this is not the actual property, but this is kind of what you're going to be looking at. Um, it's hard to get to this one, so it's super cheap. Um, and that's why there's no images of the actual property. But here's some set images I got. Um, it's kind of like a rectangular property. Uh, looks like there's a road that goes to it, but there's a guy that went out there and uh, said he couldn't find it. Um, and there's a road that comes up here. We're we'll get on Google Earth and we'll try to find a way in there. Um, so this is for you adventure some types. Uh, if you want to figure out how to get to it, um, yeah, it's a screaming deal. If you can find your way there, um, and you can get there, you just got to be you need four wheel drive. You got to be adventurous. Um, there's here's a great landmark. Your transfer lines run across the southern part of the property, um, so that's going to be a a good way to find it when you're out in the uh, middle of nowhere. Um, here's the topography. It's got all kinds of little valleys and stuff in here. Uh, pretty cool little area. You can set up a little house up there, a little tiny home or mobile RV. Well, I don't know if you can get an RV or mobile in there. You gotta figure that out. But uh, yeah, maybe with your pickup truck, you can bring in some supplies and build a little tiny home or something. Uh, yeah, you might be able to get an RV in there, but you'll have to. You definitely want to scout it out and figure out a way in there first. Um, here's some uh, GPS coordinates that I use. This is a way you can get in uh, using GPS. Um, but uh, this is apparently this this section right here people have trouble with. Um, there's a couple of different ways you can get there. We'll, we'll take a look. So don't go by these. Um, if you want to, you can give it a try. I don't know. Um, couple people said they had trouble getting there so you're gonna have to figure it out so anyway st. John's 29 minutes away well depending on how you how you're getting into the property so this is just just gives you an idea where it is okay Flagstaff's about two and a half hours away uh, st. John's 30 minutes uh, so we're asking, uh, it's 20 acres, $4,500, or we'll do terms on this one, $150 a month for 60 months with $1,000 down. Um, you can go here, choose which way you want to pay, and then this will light up. You can click buy now, and it'll run you through the whole uh, system, and then you can enter in all your information, buy with a credit card. You can do this right on the property if you get internet out there anyway. Um, if you go check it out, you just pull out your phone and buy it right then and there. Um, yeah, it's uh, 20 acres. No one's gonna find you here, man. You're you're way off the grid. Um, it's gonna be you're gonna have beautiful little valleys, trees on it. Um, looks like a seasonal creek is gonna run through there when it rains. Um, there's no direct road access to the property. Uh, you need to figure out how to get there. That's why it's so cheap. Um, it is the cheapest 20 acres in all of Apache County. Uh, I'll jump over here too. I went over to Landwatch. And I sorted for Apache County, 15 to 25 acres, all land, priced at low to high. Uh, here's one, 18.75 acres, six, almost 6,000. Um, next 20 is 6,900, 12,900. 13 inch keeps going up and up and up. So yeah, we're we're only asking 5,900 for this one. Uh, so yeah, we're the we're the cheapest around. Wait, is that right? Yeah, fifty nine hundred. Yeah. So we're we're the cheapest twenty. Um, here's just a few things. Uh, what's nearby? Concho, St. John's, Flagstaff. Um, there's an airport there in St. John's. Um, Phoenix is about three hours, almost four hours away. Petrified Forest is forty five minutes away. Uh, lots of stuff. This is gonna be outdoor. You're gonna be off the grid. Unless you can figure out how to tap into that um, transfer line. Um, I don't know how to do that. I don't know if you can or not. Um, but there's power there. So uh, I'd probably go solar here, though. Uh, solar, do like water catchment or something. Or uh, possibly drill a well. I don't know. You'll have to check in all that stuff, guys. I don't know. Never been here. So 
uh, if you have to figure it out. Um, how to see the land. Um, yeah, you can check it out. You don't need our permission. Just go out there. As long as it's not sold, you can go visit it anytime. Um, here is the GPS coordinates you're going to want to use to find this place. So you'll plug in, like you'll take one set here, and this will be one of the corners. So we'll just copy that in. We're going to go over here to Google Earth. Uh, Google Earth is free. You can download this. Um, you guys can do the same thing here. And just plug in this first set of coordinates. And this will take you to one of the corners. So this is going to be the northeast corner right here. It'll set it up for you. And uh, you can plug in each co coordinate, and it'll give you like that corner, just like a midway point another corner, another corner, and that's the center of the property right there. Um, yeah, so here's the transfer lines running through the southern part of the property. Um, you know, there's looks like there's an old maintenance road there. But uh, like I said, people were having trouble getting here. So if you're adventurous and uh, you like going off grid, nobody will ever find you, this is a great spot for you. So look at this. You got valleys, Little mountains all around you, little mounds. I wouldn't call those mountains, I guess. Maybe maybe that's a mountain. Big hill. <laughs> uh, just gonna fly it around here. Looking down into the valley here. So this is gonna be, you know, when it rains, it's gonna fill up with water. You can see where the water's going through there at some point. Well, we'll just sit down in here. Kind of fly around. So this is down, this is on your property. Looking around. Just kind of fly around here. A little area here. This might be a good little spot to set up a little camp or something here. This might just be a great camping property, too. I mean, little trees along here along this ridge line. Probably great for hunting. Well, I know it's great for hunting. I mean, it's antelope and deer, coyotes, jackrabbits all over the place out here. Um, yeah, just kind of fly around. See where they're all. all Water came running through here. Um, this is looking up at your property. This is another corner there. That's the midway point of your property right there. That's the middle point. Um, another, another point's up on top of this ridge here. We'll exit this ground level. So let's get back facing north again. Get a better idea of the place. So just kind of fly around. See, this is seasonal creep, and that fills up. Water's going to come running through here. It's going to run off from all these little mountains and well, hills and mounds all around. And I've got a nice steep bank here. This is part of your property over here, too, guys. You're not. It's not all this. But this is the most interesting area for me. you got trees and the little valleys and stuff. It's pretty cool. Trees all over the place. Uh, let's kind of see if we can look over. You know, this might be a great spot to be able to, like, right here. Or set up a camp, like, right here on this little this little ledge here. Whoop. Bill! Where'd, what'd you do? Alright. Come on, Google. Let's set up right here on this little ridge. Yeah. And look down in this little valley. This is all yours right here, guys. Pretty cool. Little maces over here in the distance. Oops. Sorry guys, Google just had giving me some issues. Yeah, so this is kinda of, that's kind of proper. Let's let's see if we can find a way in here. Um see what I can do for you here. So just looking around, there's looks like there might be two or three ways to get in here. You see this, this is an old old maintenance road. It could be washed out all along here. I don't know. I don't know how old these images are. Uh, this is image date. November 5th, 2015. So, yeah. These could be all washed out along here. But, um, one of the ways I was thinking is, see this road right here? This is an old, old wagon road or something. You see the tire tracks coming in through there? So, I'm just going to back up. We're going to fly down to the closest Oops. Closest main highway. Right here. 61. So you got 61. Here's Concho to your west. You're going through Concho. I don't know which way you're coming this way or that way or from the north. Anyway, seems like a good way. Maybe, oh heck, maybe even up here. 
Um, this is another property I have over here. Um, got to get creative in getting that one too, but there's a little house there. You can probably figure it out. Boom. Anyway, um, hey, actually, look at that right there. There's a road coming in there. Gosh, there's a few ways to get here, guys. Uh, let's try from this section because this seems pretty close. So, Concho here on your south. Go up 180A. Uh, just gonna track back from this right here, this little road, cut off this way. All right, so there's the main power lines there. Come through here, this little house there, road there. Yeah, cut in through here. Make sure you get in there. Hopefully, there's no fences or anything in the way. I don't know. This could be a fence there, guys. I'm not sure. Hopefully, it's unlocked. Um. But you could try this way, here's one way. Come in through this way. It's little power lines you can see along here. Turn up this way. Looks like it looks like a cattle guard. I don't think that's a fence, I think that's a cattle guard. Come in through there, and maybe even go over this road. This little looks like it has gravel there. Come up through this road. Go down here. Looks like maybe someone's house. Go along here, yeah, they got power lines going this way. Follow this road up here. Get past this like looks like a water tower or a green. Maybe water in there. Come along this road here. And here's your main power lines there, guys. Um maybe you can veer off here. Looks like there's an old road there. Yeah, try to follow it. Yeah, I wouldn't go down there. I'd stick to this road then. Stick to this road here. Um, yeah, maybe you can traverse over down here. Come this way, you can see the tire tracks there, guys. The tire tracks. A little shed or something there. Come along here. Comes down into here. See those tire tracks. And then it looks like it kind of stops there. Man, I don't know, guys. Oh. Uh, but that's getting close to the property, so you're right here. So come down along here, maybe traverse down into here. Maybe come down into here. Cross over this wash. It looks like you can cross over that wash there. Possibly, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of cool though. Uh, yeah, maybe actually, there's a little corral there. Look at that. You come past this corral, go along here. Maybe follow this ridge. Come down in here. Look how steep that is. Yeah, you could drive down there, I think. Possibly. I don't know. It's like a treasure hunt. Get back on, and you can kind of see there's a little road tire tracks there. You see the tire tracks? Tire tracks. Ah, but then you're going up that way. Man. Yeah, I know, guys. Well, we tried that way. We'll try this way. Um, come in down this road. Sorry, this is gonna be a long video. Just trying to help you, help you find a way to this property. Um, okay, 61. Let's get facing north again. So from Concho, head east, up 61. Um, looks like you. There's a road here. I don't know. Hopefully, that looks like a cattle guard. Hopefully, it's not fenced. Um, I don't think they do fences out here, but I, I can't tell you for sure. But you can try this way, too. So, hopefully, that's a cattle guard. You can drive right over there. And just follow this road. Follow this road all the way up here. Looks like someone's got a little house there. Another house there. Going past this house. You see the road here? Continues on. I would say a road, a little trail. The tire tracks. Keep following this all the way up here. Keep on going. All around here. Hopefully none of this is washed out. Uh, around here, around this bend. Keep going up, following this road. Waiting until we see the uh, transfer lines cross over us. 
going, keep going, keep going. Zoom out a little bit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's a property here. Here's your transfer lines. This is the road. So when you see these transfer lines, you know you're going to be making a right here somewhere. we got to figure out maybe the drive right through here. Let's see how steep this is. Let's see if we can get on the property this way. So here's your road. Maybe you can traverse along here. Up over this hill. Come right up there. That's, yeah, you could do that. Yeah, four-wheel drive, high clearance. Drive right up onto your property, and there you are. Um, that might be your best bet. Uh, another way, <laughs> uh, coming from, you know, we already tried this way, right? Looks like a road that's pretty, pretty beat up. Um, you know, to try there. Well, I'm gonna leave it at that, guys. Um, you know, you could try to figure it out another way. They might, might be able to get in from 180. Uh, yeah, it looks like there's a road that comes in here. Yeah. You can see the tracks along here. Come down here, find your power lines, and off you go. And I don't, I've never been here, so I don't know how hard it is to get here. Maybe you could just follow these lines in. I don't know. Okay. Well, anyway, I'll leave it at that, guys. Cheapest uh, 20 in all of Apache. Uh, Go check it out. Um, oh, here's your taxes, 232 annually. Uh, closing dock fee is 199. We're actually going to waive those, so it's going to be no dock fee on this one. Um, there's no POA, POA, HOA, none of that. Um, but yeah, we'll I'll get that off of there. We'll waive the 199 uh, dock fee. But uh, yeah, here it is. Um, 20 acres. Beautiful, gorgeous valleys all around you. Uh, great camping or hunting property. If you can figure out how to get there. <laughs> All right, I'll leave it at that. Thanks, guys.